Yo. Hello. Yeah. Um, thank you for wanting to come on the podcast. By the way. Thanks. Thanks to you, I want to get some clout. <laughs> <laughs> get some clout. Yeah, I need some clout. <laughs> I need some. I, I need some viewers. You can just post in the server. You know that's right. I know. I know. I seen. I seen Ski upload every single video. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, yeah. I mean, I do that too. It's just like I don't really have any ideas of what to upload. I think like that was my guy just giving me like a trial phase on like, yeah, just try to upload, see how it feels. Mm-hmm. And now, now I think I'm back to learning again. So I don't know if it's in here. Ooh, scary. Yeah. Pulls out a big ass suitcase. <laughs> no, no, it's not in there. Just I'm, I'm curious. Like when? Because I never ask you this. So, um, when was the first time you? I mean, your first spiritual awakening. Do you remember that? When it was and what Ooh, exactly happened? I think for me, mm, I'm thinking of how to explain this. So I think it was around 13, 14 when I really. Because before I was Christian, right? Mm-hmm. As a lot of spiritual people were. <laughs> <laughs> I was Christian, right? And my life was kind of shitty. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'll get into that later. But it's been I've been through a lot. And then, like, at a certain point, I started doubting Christianity. And then, right, I was, like, a huge fan of, like, X. You know who I mean, right? Um, No, I don't. XXX Tentacion. And, like, he was, like, uh, teaching spiritual stuff too, right? Okay, no, I've and then never, I never really not. Oh no, well, no, I really no. got invested. I really got invested right in what he was saying. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I was just listening, right? And then it started making more and more sense over time. And then like I started doing my own research, and that's when you know you fall into the rabbit hole, and then you keep going, <laughs> and keep going. And yes, yeah, I mean that like spirituality made more sense to me than Christianity and any other religion. So I mean, I just kind of just stuck to it. Okay, that's interesting. It's very nice. I was just thrown into it. <laughs> like, yeah. age six, it was just right in my face all of a sudden. So, you had a Bro. smooth transition into it. So I was literally thrown into it. So really? It How did it happen for you? Um, It was, I think, it was age five or six. But I, I, I think it was six. Where, you know, the there is a live action show of the... Um, Merlin, you know that? Like nah. The one wizard, you know, King Arthur and Merlin, the wizard. The Wizard of Oz? No, no, something else. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, was, uh, I think the third episode, there was um, this guy at a shield, you know, with some kind of spell, or three snakes would come out of the shield and bite the opponent. And then since that night, um, later I came to know it was just a, um, a trigger of um, that opened... My abilities to look in, look into to the astral, and just uh, my first memories, which at the time I didn't know were past life memories. Yeah, from the from the wars in the Pleiades. Mm-hmm. So I was thrown in, <laughs> just straight thrown into it. Um, yeah, bro, <laughs> bro. For me, I mean, I, I I don't know. I just started at thirteen, but maybe it has to do with like at a young age, right? <laughs> I mean, I was a kind of a meme lord since then, because I was always on my iPad and shit. So I was watching dumbass videos like uh, Bermuda Triangle or fucking mm. Illuminati. Things like that. I was, yeah. yeah, exactly. I was watching that as a kid. I mean, yeah. some MLG edits too for fun. <laughs> but you know, I mean, so maybe that's why. You were attracted. Yeah, I mean, as a kid, bro. As a kid, my biggest worry was that um, either I was gonna get nuked <laughs> or. <laughs> Or somehow the Illuminati or the Bermuda Triangle was going to get me. <laughs> I, don't, really? I don't know what. I was on some weird shit. I'm still, I still am though. No, I always was scared. I don't know why it is. But with, with the same thing with nukes. Like uh, thinking you would get nukes. Every time. Because um, we, we live next to a military base. So every oh time, every time they shoot one of these cannons, it's like a loud bang, and I just I'm just waiting for the shockwave from the nuke. <laughs> to bro, I had something <laughs> similar, bro. Every time I heard an airplane, I was kind of ducking a little bit. I was like, Yo, this might be my last moment. Yeah. I had to do as a kid. It was crazy. Oh my god, <laughs> funny though. So you explained it a little bit already, like what. What um, drew you to the practices like deviation and meditation? 
Yeah. So like, was like, was that a question or? Yeah, like? it was a question. You you have answered it a little bit, but I think you can give more on because specifically, so like, what drew me into it or? Yeah, because in the server you you are lots about deviation and stuff like that. Yeah, well, what kind of drew me into it? I never really looked into spiritual abilities much until I joined like the Discord, right? GFCC for anyone mm-hmm. watching. But it's like I don't know. I saw like Cash like doing divinations, right? I was like, yo, what the fuck? That shit is actually real. Cause like I asked for one, right? Mm-hmm. And since then, I was like, yo, that's kind of crazy. I really was interested in it. Probably because I have the ability too, right? Just not on his mm-hmm. level yet. But I mean, I'm only 18, you know, it's going to grow. But it was like, I saw potential, right? Because if you can give, actually, bro, I'm not even going to be on some serious shit. In my head, I was like, oh, yo, if I can do this, I could just like freak out people at school. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just sitting next to a guy and say, yo, did your, gran- did your granny die yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> imagine like knowing that shit I, all of a sudden i mean it was like pretty interesting too and like you could help people too of course but i mean i want to be funny too so and then you've mentioned shadow people have you encountered them before yeah bro <laughs> bro i was stupid i think i was when i was 16 i'm not sure mm-hmm. i was doing like a third eye guided meditation but this motherfucker mm-hmm. told me to put my fingers on my forehead right and then yeah. see like a white light going into my third eye mm-hmm. i was doing that I-, I was done i looked into the corner of my fucking room tell me why i see a motherfucker like behind the closet white eyes just looking at me bro <laughs> i'm like Yo, what the fuck so I was kind of shocked. I didn't do anything. I felt like fear, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, I called my, my granny and my grandpa, right? I, I said, like, can you guys uh, close that thing for me? Because th- even the doors didn't close, right? Mm-hmm. So they came. They looked the being dead in the eyes, but they didn't see him. I was like, yo, what the fuck? And then the, I think the second time was when I had sleep paralysis. Like, I couldn't move. I just see this mm-hmm. big-ass shadow, dude. And then since then, yeah. I've had a couple dreams where I fought this guy. But, I mean, he doesn't bother me anymore because I think, like, he realized that, oh, he's fighting back <laughs> in the dreams. Because I didn't, I was like, yo, I'm tired of, like, feeling fucking fearful. So I just ran at him and started mm-hmm. swinging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what you have to do. Also in sleep, mm-hmm. in sleep paralysis, that's one of the ways. Because you can, from sleep paralysis, you can easily access the astral also all you have to do is just gather your gut and just throw yourself out of your body yeah the beings will most likely run anyway because the fact that you got out of the body got over the fear you now are much more powerful than they are and so they will run away i mean i have experienced this myself um they 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 will be gone in less than a second the moment you get out of your body bro i don't think it wasn't Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know if i was out of my body Cause it was a separate dream I had where I fought him, but mm. technically I was still in my apartment. Maybe, Maybe I okay. was out of my body. You never know. I mean, if, if if it wasn't astral projection, it was astral traveling. So, but yeah, that's what you get for trying to open your third eye. <laughs> then you start to see things. You know, uh, they didn't warn you. No, probably they didn't. They they did. They no, did. they didn't. They didn't. I think this guy was. Oh, great way to open your third eye, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Long, always the typical long hair dude has a mustache, like a little mustache, like, namaste, open your third eye with me, blah, blah, blah. And then you fucking do it. And then, like, the first thought that might pop in your head is like, fuck your namaste, why am I seeing the shadow being in the corner <laughs> of my room? <laughs> like, I don't think he's on some namaste shit, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, yeah, so if anyone wants advice, do not force your third eye open. <laughs> Just meditate. That's all you have to do. Do yeah. not... Unless I you mean, want to see them, of course. Yeah, I mean, indeed. You can force them open, but you have to know and prepare for what you might Yeah, see. and I feel like if you are going to open it, you should do it naturally. Mm-hmm. So like sun yeah, gaze, so. just regular meditation, eat good. Don't drink fluoride water or toothpaste or al- aluminum in your fucking... Uh, deodorant mm-hmm. otherwise yeah. you get, well, will get a headache also if you force open because many 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 people who force open their third eye also get what's called leaks like energy it leaks out of it and it causes a lot of migraine and stuff like that so yeah do i've it heard the natural way yeah and honestly bro <laughs> forcing anything is not the solution most of the time <laughs> 
<laughs> it's true. So that's a point yeah. I still have to learn because I want everything to go fast. I, yeah, bro, I'm the same time. way. I'm the same way, bro. If I could just get one of my abilities that I'm gonna get in the future, I would have. I would have taken it already. But it's like my guides know better, I guess. Mm-hmm. Now, what's it about these uh, purple fairies? talked about oh yeah it happened recently right i was sitting on the couch right Mm -hmm. i'm just chilling i was talking with genie my boy like just i don't know what i was talking about i said yo for some reason purple fairies popped up in my mind right (laughs) and like me i know certain thoughts you get them because you pick up on certain frequencies Mm -hmm. right around you so i was like okay and I was like, yo, should I talk to him? He was like, yeah. So I started talking to these fairies, right? And I'm like, bro, I knew they told me like, yo, everything will be fine. We'll help you like uh, protect. We'll protect you from these demons or you'll be fine in the future. We live at a park near you and stuff like that. And it was pretty crazy. After that, I mean, bro, they were so comforting. I've never felt so com- Bro, tell me why. <laughs> tell me why. Humans have never made me feel comforted as these purple fairies did, bro. I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I was like chilling on the couch. Oh, my God. I felt so good, bro. I wish I could. I mean, I could talk to them, but it's like, I mean, I don't really have a reason to because i mean they're fairies they can comfort you but i don't think it's not for me not for you no but something recently did happen which i'm still confused about because there was this uh tall black lady long dreads right Mm -hmm. and i was meditating with her and what she did is she like put something like i had a knife not a real one not a real one i I had a i like astral knife i guess i Mm -hmm. put it in my core I put it in my core, like, let the fire burn inside of me, pulled it out, and then she did, like, a fire ring above my head. After that, I don't really, I didn't really talk much with her, but I think she did work once again on my energy, but since then, I haven't seen her. So, I'm, I don't even know what that was about. <laughs> like, and since then, she just disappeared. Mm-hmm. She probably just helped you for what you needed that time, and then... I guess. I didn't feel that different, though, but it probably did help. No, it doesn't mean you don't feel different that nothing has happened. I mean, it yeah, can exactly. maybe on a later stage in your life, it can still have effect. Mm-hmm, because it did feel like a ritual, so... Mm-hmm. And I just forgot. I totally lost where I was. <laughs> you asked me about purple fairies? Mm-hmm. Are these the only ones you have seen, or you have seen more than the purple ones? Because um, I, I don't know, if you I... attended uh, the fairies class, there are different kinds of fairies, like... Things like goblins and stuff like that are also part of the... Yeah, no, I've only seen the purple fairies. I mean, I didn't see them, yeah. but I felt them because I mm-hmm. haven't astral travel or projected consciously. Mm-hmm. But I did... There, I had this pet. Hold on, I have a picture because it's in my country, right? Uh, hold on, what if I gotta scroll up. Am I even in the right? Hold on, I think I'm in the wrong one. Oh, there we go. Hashtag past lives. Okay, so I'm going to send this to you. I had a pet, right, in one of my lives where I was like, I had different companions. I had a blue one. That one, but blue. Isn't he beautiful? Mm-hmm. Do you not think he's beautiful? Like, that's... Bro, he's so... Like, I just want to pet him, right? Boy, I'm on... I mean, he's so cute. But that was one because I was, I was just talking with someone. It always happens when I'm talking with someone and I feel, like, comfortable to share things, right? Mm-hmm. Cause you're open. Yeah, exactly. Cause like it's easy to say some random shit with someone you trust, cause they're not gonna judge you, right? Um. Yeah. So I saw the blue one. Then there was a mermaid that I saw. Then I had a past life vision of a desert I was in my Anunnaki life. Mm-hmm. I was a space spiral. I wasn't on. I was pretty much on some malevolent, malevolent shit. Malevolent. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that wasn't good. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> but. Not- most yeah. of us have, like we all have we have had so yeah. many best lives like one of can them can be good in all of them i mean you can but most people because <laughs> because the soul has a learning journey it wants to experience every side of the, or how however you say it. yeah but then you can be good in every one of them in order to learn i mean some can if they want to if they are not interested there's no way someone's soul is just like yeah i'm just gonna be good every life and do nothing mm, angelics they oh Wait, they're good. I mean, you've, you've, I'm an angel. You've you've an- angelic souls, okay, but I mean those that are still angelic. All right, 
whatever. <laughs> Agree to disagree, I guess. I think everyone I think everyone is gonna have a life. Whether bro, you wanna be bro. good in every life, you're gonna fuck up. <laughs> or bro. like you don't necessarily have to be evil, but you might do some evil shit. Let me just put it that way. You're pro- probably yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I had a Black Panther life too. That was cool, I guess. Black Panther as the animal or as a movie? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> the animal. Some the animal. Universe, you were like Black Panther, could be. Shit. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but <laughs> <laughs> nah. The animal. The animal. Because mm-hmm. I like I receive visions when it fits my life in the moment too. Sometimes, so. I got the Anunnaki life because someone betrayed me, just like in real life right mm-hmm. now. Well, not real life, in this life. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the Black Panther because I need to learn. I needed to learn how to be comfortable alone because I was in that life. I was very distant on my family, too. Mm-hmm. And that was really it, I think, with Pat. Well, I have more, I have more, but I'm not going to name every fucking one of them. <laughs> we might be sitting here for a while then, so. So you have had a lot of past life. Yeah. You get them by meditating, or they just come to you, or via dreams? How do you get them? Well, past life visions, well, it's not like I get every detail. Mostly when I get a vision, I ask other people about it that do, like, that are, like, more evolved in their journey. Mm -hmm. So I, for example, I can hit up Cash or Genie. Mostly I hit up Genie. So I just DM him, yo, what the fuck is this about? (laughs) And then, like, he's like, yo, uh, this, this, and that. I'm like, yo, that makes sense because I feel that, right? Because mm-hmm. for me, I'm at the point where I feel things energetically, but and sometimes I receive visions, but that's it. Mm-hmm. So they just tell me. But mm-hmm. there was the Anunnaki vision I did get when I was meditating, but the other ones I was just chilling, and then I get, got a vision. So you just ask them for confirmation. Yeah, basically. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is, I mean, it's understandable. Um, damn it, I lost it again. <laughs> oh my! Was, God. No, I was paying attention, but then, then you know, ADHD, um, very quick to forget where I was. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Have you? Because you, you said you you were um, aspiring to achieve conscious astral travel. Have you already succeeded in that, or? Are you working towards that? Nope. No, and I can't I can't say I'm working on it, but I do have someone that is trying to help me in the astral, so Okay. We'll see how that's going. Then you have had except except for um the sleep paralysis and the other thing. Have you had astral experience that you remember? Mm-hmm. Oh that I no, I just asked the friend like uh I'm just say I don't know if I can say the name, so I'm not gonna say it. You can but... use another name. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so my friend Joe. <laughs> yeah, Joe. He Joe Joe the Demon or whatever. I'll just call him Joe the Demon because that's funny. Uh, I was like talking with him or her or they. I don't fucking know. I'll just say him. And like I just DM a lot with them because they hang out with me in the astral a lot. So they just tell me what we're doing in the astral whenever I'm with them. But that's really it. I don't really consciously astral travel yet. But, I mean, I really want to, though, because, like, uh, I'm going to start college soon, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to have that much time probably left because, like, I have to study and shit. So, it's like, if I could ask to travel, like, well, astral project consciously, then I could learn shit in the astral so that in my sleep I can learn so that I have more time to evolve spiritually. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if this person tells you, like, we did that, we did this... Um, do you remember it from dreams or it just resonates with you? Um, it just resonates, honestly. I mean, it makes sense. How are you looking to improve the skill or trying to get it? Um, honestly, just try to keep my body still and see if anything happens other than that. I mean, I'm not really obsessed with it at the moment because, like, mm-hmm. no. maybe I'll start doing it in college because then I'll have less time, so I'll be more motivated. But as of now, I don't really feel like I should go and practice every day and shit. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, I don't really... don't want to, that's... Okay. Yeah, ex- exactly. I'm just like, bro, if I really want to... Like, if I'm meant to, like, start astral projecting and shit, I'll feel the urge to, like, chase after. And as of now, it's like, nah, not not now. Um, what is the most, um, because you, you have done deviations yourself in the server, right? What is, yeah. like, the thing 
that you found the most um what's the name found the most interesting mm, not really interest yeah interesting like what surprised you the most about yourself like something that is it wow that i got when, that when i got a divination from someone or when i gave when, a when divination you gave, when you gave one. there was one situation where i saw a mexican flag and then a guy that was mexican pulled up in the divination session <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so i i was like oh what the fuck and then the other one i literally saw a temple on a whole nother planet Mm-hmm. Like there were like two big ass guards had swords, but the place looked abandoned. It was pretty much in dirt, but it was so pretty and cool. So I was like, "Yo, I really want to visit once." But I, it really was. It felt like Anunnaki, but I'm not sure. It could be Orion. But oh my god, it was so beautiful. And I, I don't remember who it was from. I think it was from some girl. But I, yeah, yeah, it was. But I was like, "Yo," but the thing is, with my divination skills, sometimes I get stuff right. Mm-hmm. But I don't really know what to do with it, cause like it's more like okay. they gave you give you a puzzle, they give you a puzzle, and then mm-hmm. you gotta like. Right. I feel like that's just the way it is at the beginning, and then over time it'll just become more clear and clear. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Also, something Cash had to learn me <laughs> is when when you read do readings for people is that it's their journey, not yours. So even though you might get all the information, you cannot give it all to them because they they still have to figure it out for themselves like i when when people came to me for readings i just give them everything that they needed so well thank you on their way but then they didn't learn the lesson they should have learned because i just gave it to them and so this is what cash explained to me and learns me also that i have to give them bits and pieces like they still have to find the answers themselves but you can give them a little push a little much in the right direction so that's something i struggled with a lot because <laughs> i am very in three houses i think it's called i'm pisces oh yeah you're very much in the spiritual plane instead of the physical so mm-hmm. you're not really so, grounded. So i want i want to give it i want to i want to help but i can't like yeah because it's not my journey it's theirs that's I really i really haven't had that issue as of now for me it's like i mean i have learned about it because i had a talk with someone today about like sometimes the message you want to give someone is the one they need but you're not the right person to tell Mm -hmm. them Mm -hmm. or either you're the right person but they're not ready to hear it or it's a mix of both right so that really taught me something I mean, I kind of knew it already, but it's like, it's nice to hear from someone else, right? Mm -hmm. And honestly, bro, like a lot of people say, oh, I talk too much, right? Because I know Cash does that a lot. (laughs) He's like, oh, I'm saying too much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) But with me, it doesn't really happen because I feel like other people's guides are more strict with me (laughs) because I'm like a hazard. I think I'm a hazard. (laughs) I'm not going to lie because like. I have some controversial shit, but that doesn't matter. For mm. me, it's like, I get, like, a block. It's like, I literally see a wall. Like, no okay. passing. Like, wow. so I don't, I never overshare. Okay, that's interesting. For me, it's usually just, I always tend to ask yes or no questions, because those are easier. And when they don't want the answer, want two answers, sorry, I just get a constant um, switch between yes and no. Like, in less than a yeah. second, it's like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, <laughs> Just going like 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 it's it's glitching or something, you know. How does and, it go? Uh, does does it go like yes, no, or does it go yes, no, yes, no, no, yes? How does it go? Just yeah, like that, but like very quick. Mm. Just yes, no. Yes, well, no, yeah, I mean, no, you yes, do no. have ADHD, so. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. Also, maybe I, I just don't focus well. On it. It could be <laughs> could be the case. Also, I just could be. I just don't have I'm the just focus. Say it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, not trying to fuck you up or anything right now. I'm just saying. No, it's funny because maybe it is the case because when when I when it happens, usually I start to lose focus because you know I don't get an answer. But then when I get back and I ask, I usually still don't get a straight answer. That's just the same thing, but a little bit slower. So I know, like, okay, yeah, you you don't want to answer me, or it's it it isn't a yes or no question, uh, yes mm-hmm. or no answer probably. Yeah. For sure. Which is annoying because then I don't know what to say. <laughs> right. I'm also like sometimes I'm also like I don't really do divinations alone. I do them with uh Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but um 
It's cause I'm a. Sometimes people's guides don't give me anything right. Mm-hmm. I know. So, and but then they do give it to Joe. I don't. I don't really know if I should do divinations alone yet. Cause like if I'm not receiving something and the other person is, if I'm gonna do divinations alone, I'm. I can't just tell someone, yo, I don't have anything for you. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like I can't. I can't say that. I mean, it is the same, like you said, like, maybe you're not a person. Yeah, I just, mean, I've thought just, about that, too. Then you just say, honestly, like, maybe I'm not a person to tell you. Maybe you can go to this person or this person and maybe take Yeah, because I am going to do more events, probably, mm-hmm. uh, in the future, where I'm very good at, like, helping people with conversation. So, like, I just talk with someone and then naturally I find solutions or, like, I help them. So I'm just going to just do talks with Denny or some shit. And for the people that have been asking, it's Denny, not Dini. But if you want to call me Dini, that's fine. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, like I forgot what I said. <laughs> um, fuck, you I might have ADHD to, now. Maybe you were going to maybe. do events in the future. You were oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> so yeah, just people could just talk with me, shadow work or like divinations whatever Mm -hmm. because then i don't really feel that pressure right that i have to give someone a divination Mm -hmm. or something and then they can ask me right do you get anything or and then i can like help them if there is anything so yeah Mm -hmm. okay that's cool um have the the um the best life memories you have gotten or like um things from even from deviation maybe how do they impact your current life i mean have they impacted your current life and what way they may have impacted your current life oh good question oh my god um it really the divination skills you would think that it gives me more spiritual trust but even when i'm giving a divination it still mm-hmm. feels mm-hmm. like I know. i'm just making shit up <laughs> i know i don't know i i mean for me it's the same thing when i am thinking mm-hmm. like oh maybe this is just all in my mind but then the person confirms it and then you're like okay, yeah okay, okay yeah yeah but then then i'm like maybe they're making it up too <laughs> maybe we're just both crazy right mm-hmm. but i know what you mean yeah mm-hmm. Like, it's nice to have... Because co- the Mexican thing was pretty wild. I'm not <laughs> going to lie. Or when I saw purple and they had purple LED lights on. I didn't say that yet, but that also happened. Wow. But there has been times where I got, like, a vision, but nothing came out of it. Because once I, I was in a divination with Joe, and mm-hmm. I had this wooden... I saw, like, a small wooden box that, like, you know, you could fit a pencil in, but it was, like... It wasn't a pencil. It was, like... Uh, you know those things they use for ping pong? What's that called? A ping pong? What the, what the fuck is that? Pat, yeah. It looked like a pat, but it was like more like rectangular or whatever. It was like mm-hmm. flat too. I saw that the whole divination session. Nobody knew what it was. So I was like, why the fuck are y'all showing me this? I don't know what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there has been times, right, where I just get a vision and then it's just nothing, I guess. Or at least I didn't know what it was. So, so yeah. All right. It still has to come in the future for the person. Exactly. So, bro, they could have at least DM me like, oh, I know what you talk about. No, nobody did. Bro. <laughs> that, that hurts me. That hurts me. But, yeah. Um, but yeah. How, I don't think it really has an impact. It hasn't. I don't really feel an impact or anything. With spirituality, because my life has been, like, pretty shitty. Like, I don't really have that much good memories where I'm like, yeah, that was so fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, So, spirituality is, like, the only thing I really have. So, yeah, that's the way spirituality has impacted me. But as far as abilities, it really hasn't. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the future. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, Galactic Federation and Extraterrestrial? Mm, I don't know how much to believe. I feel like... It could, there could definitely be a galactic federation, and I could definitely be a part of it, because that's what I hear a lot, because mm-hmm. I am in the GFL, according to Joe and other people, but it's like, it would be nice if, like, when I consciously astral travel, I could actually mm-hmm. see or visit them, because as of now, it's just mostly energy, so I don't really have that much trust yet on those topics, same with ETs, right, I just get it either vision or i feel them right same with the purple fairies yeah. for example but yeah as far as b- i do believe in it but i can't say that i'm strongly firm i'll defend it with my life mm-hmm. like i can't say that and so you have also never encountered any tea or uh, maybe seen a ufo things like that never? nope 
I feel like only Grace experienced that shit. Like, there's always, bro, there's Grace in the server, and they're always like, <laughs> aliens! Aliens! Like, they, they start going crazy. Oh my god, look! And then it's just some small gray guy with a big forehead. I'm like, bro, what's the hype about? But, <laughs> I don't know. It's because the Grace and the Grace are the most common one. I mean, they, they are the most open in movies ones and, and, and also, stuff. Yeah, and also you can see that's an alien because <laughs> most yeah most species just look like us, so you wouldn't know. You wouldn't actually know exactly that's an they look like us. I mean, they have mm-hmm. their they have their giveaways, but I mean, first sight you wouldn't necessarily say, "Oh, this is an alien." I'm sitting next to an alien. <laughs> Bro, imagine you just because I heard someone say some have genitals, some don't. Imagine just seeing a gray walking around with his big ass cock out. <laughs> Okay. Bro, that would be funny as fuck. Oh my god, like, like see that w- w- would be funny to say or post, but if it's just some gray guy, I'm like, I don't care. Uh, I think only grays care about other grays. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm I'm the first one to say it. Sorry, uh, you know who I'm talking about. We share some common blood when it comes to countries, but I don't I don't see anything cool about grays. Honestly, don't don't capture me. It's like. Bro, there's other races, you know that, right? But, exactly. But the greys are just so no, no, popular. Not, not, yeah, it's not a... overhyped. Overhyped. Yeah. I'm the first one to say overhyped. Overhyped. Overrated. Also. Like, give me, give me a time turtle or something. They're Those are just cool. Used as what's what's the name? Like, oh, I know. What you mean. Uh, are, rep- are... Representation of aliens. Mm, no, not representation. It's because they 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 have to do all the dirty work. I mean, when, yeah, because when, when, they... when when looking yeah. at the archons, when looking at the archons. Then the greys have to do all the dirty work, and that's why they are the most popular because they they are seen the most because they get the dirty work. They just do it, and then they give the results to the other pirates. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Boy, yeah, I'm I don't just know. also just think this may be the reason why the greys are overhyped. <laughs> right. What would you do if you were to see? Like, if now one stands, decides to show himself right next to you. Oh my god. Honestly, grab my Spotify playlist and tell him if he fucks with it. <laughs> See what his music taste is like. But I know I would be scared, I'm not gonna lie. Because cause some of them are evil, like the dark ones. Mm-hmm. Which, yep. not racist. Not racist, <laughs> okay? I'm not... I know how that sounds fucked up. I know. <laughs> yeah, the dark ones. <laughs> no, they the dark greys are literally evil. But I don't know if some of them are good. Of course, they are. They're not all of them. Are all, good, not all of them exactly. are evil. But there are mostly in the dark greys. There are evil ones, right? So it's like mm, they mm, not necessarily. It's just because the um there are certain rules, and uh, one of the rules is that they cannot interfere with our um, free will. Yeah, with our free will and our evolution too much. So they stay out of sight, but of course the negative beings, the archons, they like to break the rules. <laughs> yeah. So they they show themselves more and they interact more with humans because yeah they just say fuck the rules. Yeah, fair enough. But I would be scared if one was in my room. Hmm. But I don't know if like I care that much. <laughs> like I would be scared, but like if he's on some chill shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it depends on what kind of like. Is it exactly? Ne- if, if it's a like... negative being, you will feel it. If it's a positive being, you will feel it. I mean, they will they will make you feel comfortable. Ooh, he's gonna make me feel comfortable. Gonna make some food for me, you know. <laughs> bring bring it's me like... to bed, you know. Read me a bedtime story. He's gonna make me feel comfortable. <laughs> like, <Imagine that. laughs> bro, I would love that. You know, I'm not complaining. But uh, oh no. Well, yeah, show my Spotify playlist, but honestly, there's no point in having a conversation because any question I ask is probably, like, not going to do something because they can't really fuck with my free will. What do you mean? Well, like, I could ask, right, what is going to happen in <laughs> years, right? And they might not be able to oh, say because like it fucks up the timeline and that fucks with my free will. Or, like, mm-hmm. I could ask a spiritual question, but they don't know how to explain it because they intuitively know. But they don't know how to explain it to humans, so... Okay, like that. Yeah, that makes sense. I think they will still try to find it. Would be Honestly, I don't even feel like trying. What about UFOs, if you were to see a UFO? Mm-mm. Uh, only on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this guy that 
claims he's from the GFL and like he tweets a lot. I don't know his name, but like he has some videos that are pretty fun. Mm. But yeah, other than that, no. No, but if if like two nights you were to walk outside and all of a sudden you see a UFO in the sky, what would you do? What would you think? Well, I know I've one... seen it all my life. For me, it's just normal. <laughs> oh so, shit! But, but you, since you you have never seen it before, so I'm wondering what would your ex be? To that. I know one person that started yelling like, yo, take me, take me. You know who I'm talking about, but <laughs> that sounded like fucking gross the way I said that. Oh my. They, they said, bring me along on the ship. That's better. Okay, but nah, I wouldn't. The question was, what would I do if I saw one? Yeah. Probably fucking nothing. Just take I mean, what am cool. I? Just, <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, that's a UFO. I like... What am I supposed to do? Like, I don't really... If it's Grace, I don't want to fuck with him. If it's some other ET, I don't want to fuck with him. Like, if they're meant to talk to me, they'll come to me. Like, I'm not gonna yell or, like, the fact, care that much. The fa- if you were to see them, the fact that you see them was intentional. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, yo, thanks for showing that you guys exist, I guess. Mm, that's yeah. but that's it i mean i would I, I probably wouldn't even recognize the ufo because like sometimes i don't even know if a star is a plane or not you can see the difference that's for nice. sometimes i don't sometimes i don't no man you can, you can oh the see. ufos you mean the ufos yeah if like the difference between a star plane ufo or a satellite there are tells differences it, de- it depends i mean sometimes because a star can blink sometimes i think some stars shine yes that's, yeah that's one of the signs. but a plane can do that it, too with yeah, the red lights it, um, if it blinks then you know it's not a ufo <laughs> most likely no it's just, it's just most likely or... not i mean ufo would go like fast but not that fast i guess no, it can go uh, pretty. Fast. It can, but if they are trying to show themselves, I don't mm. think they're gonna go uh, Buzz Lightyear and like I mean, that wouldn't make sense. They can with me. They often do it. They like cruise across the sky just in like random directions to show like hey, we are not a plane. We are not. <laughs> we are not really. A star. Yeah, they just go from 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 let's say from the south to the west and then to east and then to the north again. Like in just oh. in blinks blinks of an eye. That's crazy. I don't know. I've never seen a UFO. But yeah, as I said, I wouldn't really care. No, I'll just I'll... Uh, I should say thank you. I mean, the last thing you have to do is try to try to record it because it's offensive to them. And it's, you're not meant to record them. And if you were to record them, people always ask why it's always shitty quality because they they, they can interfere with... Uh, so you don't... Yeah. You, don't you, you are not able to get a good picture or video unless you... Yeah. Say, <laughs> unless you ask and you get permission. I mean, you can ask I've... them, can I can I record it? And by feeling, you will know. Like yes. You're probably just gonna get no. Yeah, most of the time you will get no rather not. But yeah... Um what i was gonna say uh, it's, it's whatever i'm sorry nah, I, nah you good you good bro don't worry it's your it's your fucking podcast what was that response did you get surprised i said it's your podcast why did you what no. why did you <laughs> you made a noise like you just ate a good meal mm. <laughs> i was looking uh i was looking through my questions like what, ah what okay questions <laughs> i was like okay cool good noise man <laughs> I, I. Okay, so you have your own YouTube channel, yeah? The, what's the name again? For people. Danny Man. Danny Man. For people. To find it all, also put it in the description for people. If you yeah. Go look. For now, you focus more on um, self improvement and advice. Uh, what inspired you to start sharing um, your journey and insights on these things online? Well, I mean, <laughs> if you live it, if you live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, bro. Thank you so much, damn. Yeah, bro, you might hit puberty again. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But, um, the question. Fuck. Oh my god, I keep forgetting the question, bro. What's you kind of. For sharing the type of. Oh, you post. Thanks. Right? Yeah, I mean, if you live a life that you would consider shitty and you've, like, suffered a lot, right? Mm hmm. Often you're gonna have a lot of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. I mean, that's the same for me. Mm hmm. So naturally you just want to share it because you don't really have anything to talk about other than that it's like i mean i yeah because like 
if you've suffered your whole life and you get information from it that can help people to prevent them suffering, why wouldn't you, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I mean, on the daily, I just think about life or, or like stuff that happened to me and I'm like trying to gain wisdom out of it. Not necessary for YouTube. It's just like, it just pops up in my head and then I'm like thinking, 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 a bit of crying now and then. <laughs> but, <laughs> Understandable. Right. And then like, oh shit, that's why... I've learned this, I can do this with that, and I'm going to mm -hmm. share it with others. And then, exactly. that's really why. That I, That's why I started, like, that's why I'm so drawn to help people. I'm like, yo, if I can make, but it's also for selfish reasons, right? I'm going to be the first to say, if you've suffered a lot, it's not only because you want other people not to suffer, it's because you want to feel good. Partially, I do it because, like, I love the feeling when I have helped someone because it makes me feel good, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, which not. is kind of selfish, it's, but it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a it's trade. Natural. It's natural, mm -hmm. right? I'm not saying selfish is bad. Of course, <laughs> so being I think being selfish is a good thing as long as you also you help others when yeah, needed. Exactly. Yeah, just you have to have a natural balance. So if someone says don't be selfish, I mean, depends on the situation. But yeah, it's like, pfft, what else am I gonna do, bro? <laughs> Yeah, so that's why. And I don't want to work a 9 to 5. I fucking hate 9 to 5, so I hate my job. <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, do you do you think you will keep um, this type of content, or you want to do other types of content also? I want to do live streams too. I'm like, at first I want to gain a following mm -hmm. of my good reputation. <laughs> where i help people and shit so they can learn to love me first so that when i do eventually fuck up <laughs> like or i just make other content because i do want to like play video games and have fun with like friends and shit in the future i don't really have friends as of now but when i do you know i want to make videos with them have some fun do some live streams uh you know like i show speed i think he's fucking funny because like he's himself and weird and shit <laughs> which i love weird people like especially aquarius i think wait are you one no you're a pisces no, but... I'm aquarius in i'm pisces in three houses and aquarius in three houses yeah so <laughs> so i i'm an aquarius moon but i fucking love aquarius because they're the most authentic uh in my opinion when it comes to being weird Yes. Which, I, which I fucking love. I love weirdness, bro. I've I think we need life. more. So yeah, I want to do like funny videos, live streams, and shit too. Uh, besides, like doing the self improvement and spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can create another. I mean, if you if you wanted to, you can just create another channel. Yeah, this channel you just keep. Yeah, I'm gonna do two channels. The other yeah, one for the gaming. Yeah, like spiritual. So he has two YouTube accounts. Mm -hmm, so okay. I'm, I'm just gonna do the same thing. And what do you hope to gain with a YouTube platform? That like you want lots of followers, to earn the money, so you don't have to to work <laughs> nine to five job. <laughs> That's a huge reason, yeah. <laughs> shit, I don't want to work a nine to five. I'm gonna be honest. That shit is not for me. It might be for mm -hmm. some other people, but in my eyes, it's modern yeah. slavery. So I don't want to be a part exactly of it. I think exactly the same. I think exactly. Right, the same. but other than that, bro, I just like. I just want to I just want to express myself too and I just want to see if there are people that low key fuck with me even though I'm like kind of weird. So again, selfish reasons, but I mean I fucking love it. And like if I get to help people by doing that, that's even better. So yeah, that's why. Yeah, for me it's just I just want to share. I have no interest. I mean, if I could make money with this eventually, then that's great, but that's not my goal. Although mm. my dad has been pushing for that. Well, you need to you need to make sure you make money. If you put all your time in it and make sure you make money with it, this and that. But that's yeah, not, that's not my my goal is just sharing. Like that's the mm -hmm. only reason why I do this to share. And again, if I get to earn money with this, then that's that's great. I mean, that's a, a nice addition to it. But mainly, I just want to share my knowledge, help people like that. I I don't do this for the money. Right. For me, it's like it's not my goal, but it is my goal. <laughs> okay. That's like it's not. If I could, I wouldn't want it to be because of the money. I just want to express myself and have fun and, like, help people. But in order to do that, <laughs> like, full time, I need to make money, which <laughs> creates this loop. Okay. So I'm yeah. kind of obligated. <laughs> but, yeah, that's really why. Are your views or what's, what is your idea for the concepts of things like divine timing and free will. You know, everybody always says, oh, it's not divine timing, it's divine timing. What's your opinion? Divine timing is definitely real because 
I mean, some things are meant to happen at certain times because if they happen earlier in your life, it wouldn't make sense、mm. and it could fuck up your whole life. Like, imagine being like, imagine being like forty-five, sitting at your desk, office job, and your third eye opens. Extremely, <laughs> and you see shadow people everywhere. You've never learned about it. Your front spiral cord or whatever the fuck it's called is like connected now, and like ne- nothing makes sense. And then you develop schizophrenia. Like I like, had at age six. <laughs> right. So there's definitely like I mean it's better I, in my opinion at age six and age forty five. Which、okay. kind of sounds、mm-hmm. fucked up.、Mm-hmm. You get used to it from a young age yeah, instead of like getting it when you're old. Because when you're at forty five, you've never done anything spiritual. If you all of a sudden get an awakening, one、mm-hmm. you don't have that much time left. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could die any day at that age, especially if you live in America.、Mm. And then second of all, it's like you're not really used to spiritual stuff. So all this stuff is happening. You have zero context. So you're fucked. <laughs> Unless like it is divine timing and that does happen at age forty five, because then it'll be more smooth. But if it's not, then yeah. So divine timing is definitely real, because otherwise certain things don't make sense anymore. And what was the other thing? Um, just divine timing and free will. Oh yeah, and then free will. Yes, you do have free will, but you decided what you want to do before you came here. So sometimes it doesn't feel like you have free will, but you're the one that made it the way、uh, it is. So like, bro, my, f- my whole fucking life was suffering, right? But I mean, I'm the fucking one who decided I want all this suffering.、Mm-hmm. So it's like, I mean, you still, I- you still have like, um, before you come here, you have like, I want to experience this and this and this to learn this and this and this. Exactly, but then there's also karma. Yeah, also you also have karmic, karmic situations, things like that.、Mm-hmm. But you have always like, uh. My dad always used to explain it in a way that, like, you have the the main roads, like you want to experience this and this and this to learn this and this and this. But here and there, you have created also side tracks to for、mm-hmm. choice, cho- cho-、um, oh, yeah, choice choices you can make、um, to get off the main road and to,、right. to go to a new road, create a new road. Yeah, there is always、exactly. always that, that option. It might not always be. Exactly, and your soul knows too whether you want to go on that side road or not. Because、mm-hmm. sometimes ego gets in the way.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, exactly. The ego. How would you、yeah. handle the ego? Oh, great question. Because you asked at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> um, ego. I've made some. I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos. It's like the best thing you can do in your life is. I'm not gonna say kill your ego because that、mm-hmm. isn't real. Anyone says I had an ego death. No, the fuck you didn't. Otherwise, you wouldn't fucking be here. I can kill you right now with a gun, and that's ego death because you're not here anymore.、Mm-hmm. But it's like what people call ego death. What it really is is like you're just detaching from your ego because、mm-hmm. like you're just realizing, oh, I am source and God or whatever you want to call it, and I'm not not this ego. This is just a video game character you can call it that I'm playing in order to learn lessons or. To have fun or whatever my goal is on Earth, right? So yeah, it's like,、exactly. bro, if that's what your ego is, why would you get so attached to it? Because you're gonna die anyway, and then you'll be de- detached from it as well. And it's like, yo, I could be fucking ugly right now, but if this isn't, if this is just a character or, or not me, why the fuck would I give a fuck? It's like, bro, if I am God Source, that means I'm everything that's also beautiful. And everything that's ugly, so there's no reason to care. Explain that very well. I like, I, I really like the way you explain that. It was just in a beautiful way, right? I mean, I've really <laughs> thought a lot about ego, so <laughs> you, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, as like, bro, if you're a hater, <laughs> if you're a hater, you're probably gonna put a lot of effort in hating. So if you hate the ego, you're probably gonna learn a lot too. <laughs> yeah, you will. Exactly. So I hated myself like, for a long time, and because of that, I've learned a lot about the ego. So now I don't even hate myself anymore. So it's like, thanks. Now I know a lot about the ego. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm glad I could explain it on here. So if that helps anyone, I'm glad. But yeah, I think it will definitely help people understand、mm-hmm. a lot better and stuff like that.、So、right. How important to you is it、um, to connect with like-minded people? Or is it something you say it's fun, but it's not that important to me? I wish. <laughs>、uh, 
uh, even if I'm in a server where everyone's spiritual, no one is like-minded with me. No one. Like, it doesn't matter where I am, no one is like-minded. Like, there might be some people on this earth, they call it your soul tribe or whatever, but I haven't really met them. So, you will, as far as... Exactly. Like, I'm not worried about that. But it's like, is it really necessary? Not really. Unless, like, your soul wrote in the fucking contract that <laughs> I need these people because of blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, they're, they are important for your journey. But even then, the most spiritual progress you make is when you're alone. So, they're not really that important. Okay, so what does your experience mean? It's like in, in the server and stuff like that. Server? Yeah, your experience from it. Like you say, not everybody is, even though everybody is spiritual and believes the same thing, still they're not like-minded like you. So how is that? Mm, I don't really have hate towards anyone in the server. Some people I really fuck with too, but it's not like we're friends because for me, in order for me to be friends with someone, I need to have a very, very deep connection. Mm -hmm. Like like sibling level, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. I'm an only child. <laughs> okay, okay. And also, I've never really had that connection with anyone, even my family. So, like, I can't connect with people at all. Like, I could talk with you every day, but if I still don't feel that feeling of a deep connection, then I'm not really connected. But the people on the server are very nice to me, I would say. Like, a lot of people fuck with me in the beginning. I mean, I had some altercations with one person a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But it's worked out, it's worked out. Yeah, I mean, I I think it worked out, but you never know. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, uh, other than that, I have some opinions that I'm never going to share online. Because, you know, it's shit happens. So, as far if I'm ever going to talk about it, I have no clue. I need some people around me first. But, nah, they're nice. But I don't feel connected to anyone at all but that's all i really have to say i mean they give me information they're helpful and they're nice but do i feel connected or like this is my soul family or tribe nah not at all mm-hmm. okay interesting. so how has all of this uh, impacted you mentally mm, i would say my mental impacts don't really come from the server but more from my journey itself the server hasn't really changed my mentality at all mm-hmm. so okay that doesn't really apply for me so that doesn't really apply for me i mean i definitely th- think it did help some other people in the server especially one that recently came back i think but other than that no not really not really okay and outside of the server all the things you have encountered things like that how have this impacted shit i could make this podcast longer if you want i could tell my <laughs> whole ass journey i i if you want me to do it, i'll do it i i would love to yeah, you can well, if you want to we'll, do it you can do it i'll, I'll, I'll get the denny maybe, man backstory yeah. <laughs> or maybe i'll just do do two episodes <laughs> maybe but we'll just get the Naruto background music, the sad music. <laughs> nah, so, I mean, I was a young kid and shit. Uh, I had a family. I would say pretty toxic in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I mean, it became more chill. Yeah, but at home, I don't really have... I didn't really have a connection with anyone. Like, I cried, like, almost three three to four times every, every week. I mean, I was sensitive, but that's mm-hmm. not an excuse. So, as is that, right... So, I don't really know what love is. I still have to learn that, I guess. So, sometimes I don't really have a lot of empathy towards people. Which, I mean, I feel like it's justified most of the times. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that might be my ego or my shadow speaking. But, either way, right now I don't really give a fuck. But, I hope I'll learn more about love in the future. But, at, at home I didn't really get much attention. I did get attention, but it was, like, not enough in a way. Didn't have connections either. And then... I had trouble expressing myself because, like, at home, like, either someone talked over me or when I got angry, right, I couldn't express that emotion, which made me cry. And it kind of made me a bitch, too, because at school, right, if, like, at home, <laughs> they didn't really, like, allow you to get angry, as especially as a guy. Oh, burp confirmation. Um, Then, like, you, you're you going to have trouble standing up for yourself. So I got bullied at high, in yeah. high school and middle school, yeah. too. So that was fucked. So I didn't really... I had friends, but I didn't feel connected to them. And they kind of backstabbed me too, like, later on, which kind of fucked up. <laughs> so, I'm, yeah, at I've, home... I've experienced more. Mm-hmm. Not, not in the family dynamic. Yeah, so... 
home and school, I didn't really have anyone to fuck with. It was always, like, just me. A lot of crying and, like, not understanding stuff. Then, like, I got interested. Because I was so desperate for love, I think, like, I started asking out some girls that I thought I loved. Yeah. But as a fucking teenager, especially if you have dealt with the stuff I did, you're going to be fucking stupid. And you're like, oh, they're pretty and they're nice. So they must be who I love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I didn't really have that much conversation with them either. And I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> I think my brain just goes like they're, they're, they have potential. But then back then it was like, so I'm going to like immediately rush in. I, I mean, as of now, what I would do is become friends first and get to know them mm-hmm. as a as a smart person would. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best. Yeah. Otherwise, you you might date some whore or, like, some weirdo. You don't want to do that unless they're a good weirdo. <laughs> or you like whores. <laughs> <laughs> that's up to you. That's up to you, you know. I'm not going to judge you, but I am. <laughs> um. Then what else was there? I mean, I got bullied at home. I didn't feel safe. Oh, yeah, and recently I cut off my grandparents. I think I'm going to reconnect with them in the future if they're still alive. <laughs> but uh, I need to do more healing and, like, mm-hmm. learn how to, like, get that fire element, you know. Yeah. Like, learn to express my anger. Uh. But, yeah, I mean, that was really a bit of my life. And whenever... I help people. It's like I become friends with them first, then I help them, and then eventually they'll end up leaving. Cause like I'm just I'm just in their life as the guy that helps them, and that's that. <laughs> I know how that feels. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of fucked up, especially if you don't have friends. Cause it's like, yo, hey, I like yo, I like you too, blah blah blah. And then you help them, and then they're like, bye, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that's so true. But yeah, I think I'll make friends at college, and if I don't, I'm gonna cry. But I mean, I cry <laughs> anyways, so it's like, who the fuck cares? But yeah, yeah no, that's that's a bit of my life. But you can imagine, right? If you've experienced a lot of shit, right? You're obviously like gonna be attracted to fucking spirituality, because spirituality, mm-hmm. what it really is, is you're gonna have to go to hell in order to reach heaven. So it's like, it's true. Yeah, that's how you learn the most. You yeah. suffer, and then you, you get the fucking information. <laughs> In yeah, that reminds. Heist. Yeah, that it's reminds me of the heist. Avatar quote. It was mm-hmm. when you're at your lowest, you're open to the greatest change. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, for sure. But that was basically my life, and then right now I'm in the stage where I'm still alone and learning stuff. But I have the courage to like uh, make videos and shit. But yeah, that's that's it for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, speaking speaking of Avatar and such, what are some uh, books or videos? movies series or other things um that have influenced your spiritual journey mm. if you have any well if i would say people first i would say existential but i already named him books i've read the cabalion recently which is a very interesting book talking about uh rules of the universe and okay. how how they apply to your life and shit so i definitely recommend that book I mean, I have that book back there. It's called, um, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can just scoot yeah, back. The Alchemist. Okay. Fun book. Uh, not really many spiritual principles, but it does talk a bit about alchemy and who would have guessed it, by the way. <laughs> and like uh, your journey, what it's going to be like. So that's pretty nice. Okay. And then movies. Nah, movies, I haven't really get gotten anything useful. I've seen some spiritual movies, but it's not like they've teached me anything. It's like, yeah, hey, I recognize that. That's astral traveling. Or, hey, like you just notice certain stuff right now in movies you watch. It's not like mm-hmm. they'll teach you anything. It's like, oh, I recognize that. But it's not, they're not teaching you. They're just testing your uh, consciousness in a way. But that's mm-hmm. really it. I mean, I've always loved The Last Iron Oh, the Uncle Iron Iroh. Uncle yeah. Iroh, fucking love him. Oh my god, bro! When you hear that one song, you're gonna cry. Like it's just. Please from the. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yep. Especially if you know the story behind it. Mm. Oh, so sad. I cry right. every time. Every right, time. <laughs> bro. Especially if you're an old soul, you're more mm. sensitive. Mm. So when you, whenever the fuck, fuck that song pulls up, you might cry like instantly. No, I was even as kids. But then again, like. At the age of six, I already had my awakening in a way. I right. always loved the um, the part where the guru 
explains the chakras. Oh yeah, for sure. And I, I try to you know meditate with with Ang, <laughs> meditate on my fears <laughs> and you know and accept <laughs> accept that you are the avatar. <laughs> Bro, bros' fears back then. Oh, shadow <laughs> person. Mm. Oh my god. No, and also with uh, no uh, cookies. With the, what's the one? The one episode with the swamp in the swamp and they lost Appa and then how he I don't know in how, how he explained it but like that the whole swamp is just one tree and that everything is connected and stuff like that. I always I don't even remember that. You know, I always love those those type like yeah, the, the, I love... the real real spiritual stuff. I always very into that as a kid. I love when he faced that evil spirit that steals people's faces. Mm, go or something. Go to face don't, don't say his name. Why not? I don't. I don't. I don't want to <laughs> call up him. I yeah, just one. just like deities, it's all symbolism. Yeah, they okay. might actually be beings. <laughs> okay, as if it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I call upon. <laughs> oh, that would be a fire Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm not gonna lie. Like it could actually be one. You know what I hate on spiritual journey? People that still like are very active with deities when they say like. Oh, I work with um, um both. Yeah, I personally am also not really. Of, I mean, <sighs> I call upon them. Yeah, because, but... because you have to be careful because the the deities have been mixed up, like um, like They're with symbolic. with um, with yeah, also with Toad and Horus and beings like that. And Michael, for example, in Christianity, Michael, Michael and Gabriel. No, oh my God. Um, you have to be careful, uh. specific, because the actual angelic beings exist, but then again, they are also mixed with the Anunnaki and like demonic. Press yeah, and it's presence. like so. So if you call upon Michael, you might not get the Michael you want. Yeah, and it's like most deities, actually, all I think all of them, it's just symbolism. But there are beings like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So there are beings like Fof. So, I mean, like, since I watched that one video from Genie, bro, about the deities. I mean, I watched, I think he had an old one, too. I watched it before he uploaded the new one, which was pretty funny. It's like, now, whenever I hear someone in the service say, like, oh, I work with her. Oh, you work with her, too. I start cringing physically. <laughs> Like, my body's like, no, no, that's not true. <laughs> but, I mean, I never say shit, right? Because, like, they'll learn one day or they don't. I don't really care. It's like, be careful who you're working with, right? Because yeah, exactly. you, you say you work with, I don't know, foe, for example, right? But it could just be a bird-like being, which could mm, be an avion exactly. or something, right? So it's like, do you actually know who you're working with? And, like, the whole offering part... That's what's fucked up. Listen, uh, yeah. if they're if they're, they're a good, good being, good beings, you don't have they don't need anything. offerings. The exactly. fuck you think, bro? You think a god fucking fof wants a banana <laughs> or a smelly stick? I don't think they give a fuck if they actually were real. But even I like, mean, of course, like the beings, they are real, but they're also they made, are they, they are but mixed with other types of beings. You don't, too, true, you don't, true, so exactly. And it's like careful. So if I. If I call upon Michael or Toast, Michael, or right. anything like that, could call upon Anunnaki. Yeah, then you you can you can actually call upon Enlil instead of Michael because Enlil and Michael is the same. If looking at story wise, is the same being a story story wise. Michael is Enlil, which is an Anun Anunnaki. They call it God, but actually it is just also an alien, but a mm -hmm. negative one. But you also have Michael as an, an actual angelic being. So then I, I make I make sure that I'm connecting with the right one. Exactly. No, so those the one that only exists out of pure unconditional love and light, pure unconditional love and light stuff to make sure yeah. you got the right one. Yeah, so it's like like it's in symbolism but there are beings that associate with mm -hmm. like being so Fove you have beings like Fove that have Fove energy. Which you could work with, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I mean, it's they, like... they did it on purpose. They've done it on purpose. So 
You think you're calling upon this being, but actually yeah. you're calling upon this being. Which, but if which, you look... Mm-hmm. Which there is oh, a thought fault. behind it. There is there is a reason. Well, it's just funny that history repeats itself. Because in old Egypt, like ancient, ancient Egypt, they knew it was symbolism and that mm-hmm. the gods represent parts of themselves. Yeah. So, but later on they like forgot and then they start doing sacrifices of the Ibis bird, which led to like a food shortage, which led to the end of Egypt. Like... And now people are doing the same shit. They think fucking the deity they work with is... Like, you don't know who you're working with. You're leaving offerings for someone mm-hmm. that might not even, like, and have you your best always potential. Know who you're working with. You just have to demand to I don't tell think, you. I don't... They have to tell you. I don't you. know. I mean, if you, if you say, like... Um, it's difficult because I do it in Dutch. Because you, you yeah, know, I know, you know but you could ask, are Dutch. you are you this actual being? Yeah, and they they have to answer. True, but I mean, most people it, don't depend, even do it, that. It depends on the way you ask it. You can ask, oh, are you this being? I say, yeah, sure, I am this being. But it's the way you have to ask. It. It's like it is. Am I? How do you am say I it? talking how, to how, the real how do you embody? Say how do you I would like the way I would ask if you want to work with uh, spirits. What you should do is like, are you? this being and do you have this um do you have my highest timeline mm-hmm. and self in my like are you working with that yeah but you if also, the answer is no they're malevolent yeah but there's also the tone you have you have mm-hmm. to say like i command you to say but not like command you to say you know it's just, it's difficult to, to you said explain. it the same yeah no it's like not in a mean way like i command you to say this but not not in like oh ask nice yeah yeah just in a nice way like i command you to say it's in my free will you have to show yourself to me or through your true intentions and then right they have to do it they they cannot say no exactly even even so, even if, if it's the devil himself he cannot say no so Instead of working with deities, I mean, you are working with the energy of the deity in, through a spirit that's my, my, like-minded mm-hmm. and has that energy. If you are, if you are gonna do that, make sure you, in, that you ask right nicely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that a warning demand, for anyone that's gonna you, do that. You demand them, but in a in a nice way. Uh, yeah, you're like, hey, way. I demand you because I do have free will yeah, and I like want to see if you exactly. respect. Yeah, like it's like. Um, confronting someone mm-hmm, with yeah. a tough conversation, <laughs> but you do it nicely because you want to show that you actually care. Mm-hmm. I right, next question, or was that it? I think that was it. I don't think I have any more. I was the end. Thanks for having me. Mm, thanks for being here. It was an interesting no conversation. <laughs> right.